So this question is a diagram question. We see that based upon the table that is provided here. So this table provides us with, um, so we know that it's about Miss Simon's workday morning drive. We see that the first column is the segment of drive. So we see, you know, she asked from home to freeway entrance, freeway entrance to freeway exit, and then lastly, freeway exit to workplace. And then each of those segments has a certain number of miles, so it's a set distance. And then we have an average speed at each, um, at each case here. So then let's figure out what's going on with this question. So um, the information provided here says Miss Simon drives her car from her home to her workplace every workday, every workday morning. The table above shows the distance in miles and her average driving speed in miles per hour when there is no traffic delay for each segment of her drive. So I don't think that that provides any additional information, so I'm not going to read that again. Let's go down to question 38. It says, if Ms. Simon starts her drive at 6.30 a.m., she can drive at her average driving speed with no traffic delay for each segment of the drive. So we know that we have a 6.30 a.m. start time, and that's going to just be like her normal speed, right? It's going to be exactly what these values tell us in terms of her average speed for each segment. And then it says, if she starts her drive at 7 a.m., right? So now we have like a versus 7 a.m. The travel time from the freeway entrance to the freeway exit, so that is phase, I'll call it phase two. Let's call this phase one, and let's call this phase three. So phase two, if she leaves at 7 a.m., um, increases by 33% due to her slower traffic. So this, so phase two would go up by 33%. Based on the table, how many more minutes does Ms. Simon take to arrive at her workplace if she starts her drive at 7 a.m. than if she starts her drive at 6.30 a.m.? And then round your answer to the nearest minute. So we need to figure out, well, first of all, how long does it take her if she leaves at 6.30 a.m.? What is the normal time. And we really have all the information that we need because we know for phase one, it's a distance of 0 0.6 miles and that those 0 0.6 miles have an average speed of 25 miles per hour, right? So I, I, I reverse the order of where I put the 25 and where, or where I put the miles, where I put the hours, because I'm trying to find time, which means I want miles to cross out. So then I go to my calculator and I just figure out, well, what is 0.6 divided by 25? And that answer is 0 0.024 hours, okay? So for phase two, if she leaves at 6.30 a.m., that's gonna be 15.4 miles. But the average speed for phase two is 50 miles per hour. So I have 50 here, 50 miles, and then hour up top. So same situation, the miles cross out, and I have 15.4 divided by 50 in my calculator, and I get 0 0.308 hours for phase two. And then for phase three, um, she's going to travel 1.4 miles, and it's at 35 miles per hour. So again, the miles cross out and I have 1.4 divided by 35, and that's equal to 0 0.04 hours. So all together, right, that's 0 0.04 hours plus 0 0.308 hours plus 0 0.024 hours and all together what I'm getting is that her entire trip is 0 0.372 hours. All right, so at 7 a.m. what changes? Well, phase one, nothing changes, so it's still gonna be 0 0.024 hours. At phase two, we were told that it's a 33% increase in time. So I'm gonna just say that that's gonna be 0 0.308 times, well, how do I write 33% increase? Well, a 33% increase means you're increasing the 100% of the time that you have by 33%, which means actually you'll have 133%, right? Which as a decimal is written as 1.33. So let's go to my calculator again and see 0.308 times 1.33 
means that a 33% increase in time takes us from 0.308 up to 0.40964. So I get on my calculator. And then lastly, for phase three, again, nothing changes there. So it's still going to be 0.04 hours. So all together, I add all these values together. So just add my 0 0.04 and add my 0 0.024 and the 0 0.40964. And what I get is a total of 0 0.47364 hours. But the question wants us to find um, how much more time, right? How much longer does it take? So I need to find the difference We need to find the difference between these two things. So 0.47364 minus 0.372. And I get that that difference is 0 0.10164 hours. But we want it in uh, terms of minutes, right? So we want to round to the nearest minute. So I'm going to multiply that by, again, 60. Oops. In fact, 60 minutes goes here. And just one hour goes there. So hours can cross out. So I multiply that 0 0.10164 by 60. And what I get is that that is 6.0984 minutes. So to round to the nearest minute just means I can get rid of all of this. So my answer should be six minutes. And therefore the final answer here should be six.